Good evening. It wasn't even raining when the bolt of lightning struck. Moments later, a three alarm fire in Mount Adams. Nine News reporter Amy Wattis is live on the scene with this story tonight. Amy? Yeah, Clyde, three families are out of their homes tonight and staying with friends after lightning struck their condos here on Oregon Street. Now, folks here are used to hearing fireworks, but never anything like this. It wasn't the sound of fireworks, but the sound of lightning striking three homes on Oregon Street in Mount Adams, catching Paul Bazinski off guard in his home nearby. It was the loudest thunder I've ever heard. I've, I've, like, I've heard a lot of thunder up here. You hear a lot of echoes and from the fireworks, and it was just like a loud firework boom that was really close. It was just a, a tremendously loud crack, and it just sounded like all the windows broke in the house. Fire crews confirmed that lightning did strike the units in their utility rooms. Fire could not be seen, only smoke in the sky. Electric was shut off, so fire couldn't spread in between the walls of each condo. Because of the heat, and uh, the number of buildings involved. We could have had upwards of five different units involved, so that's almost like five different houses. So a uh, third alarm, that's just like putting a, a regular alarm on each one of them. So uh, just a, a massive amount of work and very labor intensive. A lot of work also because of the heat, but crews are glad everyone is okay. Mary Margaret Kindle considers herself very lucky. She was taking a shower when the strike hit her home. Getting dressed, and I thought I smelled something that didn't, you know, it smelled like maybe something uh, was burning in the kitchen or you know, from food or something. And then my cousin lives on the first floor, and she called up and said there was smoke. So then we came down and called 911. Kendall will be staying at a friend's house tonight until fire crews give her the okay to go back home. Again, no one was injured in today's fire. Families should be expected to go back into their homes sometime tomorrow. Amy Wattis, 9 News, live on Mount Adams. All right, Amy, thanks.